and welcome to the latest report from the Fashion Police. We are fighting crimes against taste and fashion, Claire, today. And we're going to be talking about liquid eyeliner. Now, a lot of people get scared about liquid eyeliner because of the whole Amy Winehouse thing. Yeah, well, don't get scared. It's only makeup. You can wash it off. Absolutely. So what I suggest you do with liquid eyeliner is make sure you've got a steady place to put your elbow, a table or something, and you can look straight into the mirror. Keep your eyes open and work the liquid eyeliner from the outside into the corner of your eye. You can go over any lines, any wonky lines or anything to make that perfect line. And then you want your tick on the outside and you can go for a really big tick, not too Amy Winehouse, but mm -hmm. or you can have a little small tick, whatever suits your eyes really. Okay, fabulous. Yeah. Now let's take a little look at when we went out on the fashion police patrol and grabbed Rochelle and gave her a great glamming up. On hair and makeup that day, it was the gorgeous Nicola. Everybody's going to be wearing purple and it looks gorgeous and is going to look fabulous against your skin tone. We don't really need to go for too many accessories, so we're yeah. going to keep things simple okay. and put you in this and see how you look. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah, great. Let's do it, girlfriend. Okay, Michelle, so we've got the outfit. Now what we need to do is pick the shoes. Which ones do you fancy? Well, I quite like the gold ones. I think they're going to dress. Well, we could get you in those, but I've just had a little look at the nails. So I'm thinking. We go for orange, yeah. and I reckon that throws the whole thing off. And when you're young and you can do this, you can mix every colour in the book. And yeah. let's put an equally fabulous bag with it. Okay, so we chose a fabulous, great, vibrant purple dress for Rochelle. But this season, autumn and winter, big, big colour is grey. Yes. And grey is a fabulous colour to wear, but we don't want to make it look too much like a school uniform. No. So the great way to wear grey is really lovely puffball skirts, high-waisted grey trousers, definitely go for a grey waistcoat as well and wear maybe some nice vibrant shirt colours underneath and maybe even grey boots. I've already got a lot of grey shoes actually ready to go for autumn and winter. So with that in mind, and of course we're going to go silver jewellery because grey and silver work so brilliantly together, what would you do for the makeup? I would go for some really nice sparkly shimmery colours, you know, maybe some sparkly purple, some sparkly green, some pink cheeks, red lips, that kind of thing. You want to reflect off that grey, you don't want to go, you don't want to have grey on your face as well as on your body. Yeah, because obviously as we get closer to the autumn and the winter, everyone's wearing the dark colours and grey is quite dark, so you yeah. want something a bit more vibrant to lift the mood exactly. a little bit. Maybe some nice pink cheeks, something like yeah. that, look really nice. Okay, great. Now back to Rochelle's Fashion Police Makeover. Right, Nicola, let's get those fabulous working hands inside this bag. This is Rochelle. Rochelle, this is Nicola. That outfit, Claire, sounds amazing. It's brilliant. And I'm also going to um, steal your little bit of inspiration with the nails mm -hmm. and take your lead on this. I'm going to go for a, for a coral colour to go with the nails. So I'm going to keep it really simple with Rochelle. She's got a beautiful skin tone. So I'm just going to focus around her lip area and maybe some colour onto her cheek. So here we go. I've got the number 17 coral. It's gorgeous. Available from Boots. Michelle's young, so we don't want to go too sort of over the top. We just want to keep it really quick. And again, you can pick that up in boots. And that's the thing, you don't have to spend loads of money on makeup. This is a mistake a lot of people make. Yeah, I think definitely around the back because you've got enough at the front. And then I reckon what we do is we go big hair, we go Hollywood hair because it's all about that, isn't it? Like the celebrities are doing the big hair and the curls and the back combs. So we want to go glamorous, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so with your back home in, just take a few sections. Okay, I mean, is this damaging the hair? No, it should be fine. I mean, obviously, if you do it with an excess, then, mm -hmm. you know, like anything, it's going to be... But well, just once a week when you're going yeah, out, it should yeah. be fine. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm just smoothing the hair over really lightly, just the top section, so we've almost created a nest inside of there to give it its whole... Do you love it? Is 
bit lush. It is, isn't it? Okay, Michelle, you are ready to go in. I'm going to now release you from the police van. You go, girlfriend. Good night. Hello. Hello.